How's it going, everyone? How you doing? Oh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh Kayle here. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we have week four of the UBA season three. Today, we're going to be taking on Game Reviews, aka Max, <clears throat> aka the Sunsetter. <laughs> um, we're dealing with a drought team this week, if that wasn't a clue um, as to what we're dealing with. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting, interesting match. His team is good. His team is good. I won't lie. He's got some great Pokemon in there. If he uses them properly, it's going to be an interesting match. So uh, because Max has a bye next week, I know for sure he has to bring Flareon and he has to bring Mascarada. So those are the only two guarantees. I have things for them. Um, the rest of them I'm expecting. I mean, he's... I have an idea, I guess, of what of what I'm expecting from him. Um, he could try some shenanigans. You never know. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to get linked up with Max. And, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Oh, real quick. Check out Max's channel in the description. <laughs> I always forget to do this in the intro. Check out Max's link in the description below. Go subscribe to him and check out all the other coaches as well. Go subscribe to them. Okay, back to the cut. <laughs> all right, so this is going to be our team for the battle. Uh, this is what we're bringing. Palafin, Gladysquare, Dialga, Arcanine, Leafeon. Apologize if you hear stuff in the background. Uh, and Grimmsnarl. So... This is the best six I thought I could bring. Uh, I didn't bring an Amorous. Might end up having to bring it in the rematch. We'll see if we do end up rematching. But this is the team we're going to bring. Sorry for the delay, Max. Um, he brings Venusaur, Torical, Cinderace, Armors, Groudon, Scavenge. Yep. <laughs> that is what I was expecting. Venusaur, Torical, Cinderace, Armorous, Groudon. Skeleton. Okay. This is more or less the team I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie. Um There was one change I would have seen. I mean I wouldn't have been surprised if he brought the Mewtwo, but this is the team I was expecting. Um this team he seems to be comfortable with. Did it wait, did he bring Oh he didn't bring he didn't bring Nelscarado or Flareon. Max just doesn't care. <laughs> you know what? I have a feeling he probably thinks there's one more week. He probably thinks he has one more week or something. Because, uh, I'm supposed to bring all your Pokemon. <laughs> and he hasn't brought those two. Drought. Okay. Um. Let do this. Uh, we could trade rocks. We could have traded rocks. It's fine. I know he's going to have Rapid Spin. He can put up his rocks, and that's fine. I don't want to put mine up until this thing's dead. Honestly. Um. Can also stall with the sun a bit. Because I know he's he's got Rapid Spin. I mean, he's used it before. I wouldn't be surprised. Lava Pool. That's going to hurt. It is gonna hurt. They get burned. Oof, that sucks. So what I'm gonna do to stall out the sun even more, as much as I don't really want to lose areas like this, I really don't, because I was thinking about switching them. Um, I'm gonna get at my rocks. I'm gonna get at my rocks. He was gonna withdraw. Okay. He's gonna go to Groudon. Skeletage. Okay. He wants the free torch song. He wants the free torch song. Okay. Um. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay with this. I'm okay. Um, I'm I'm worried about what he's gonna do, but we have things that can come in and hurt this thing as well. That did nothing. It's our song, which is fine. Like I said. So Skeletor is going to take out Glass Squad. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm going to go to you. Let's go to Cerberus. Honestly, I mainly didn't bring Enamorous, so I could bring both Leafeon and, uh, and um, Arcanine. So I can I can bring all my Pokemon. Those are the only ones I was missing. He can switch here if he wants. Nope. Okay. We kill with another one. 
We don't die to this, I don't think. Yeah. Sun should fade this turn. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna crunch again. He's gonna tear it. Okay. Nothing is this dark. It's probably steel. Fire. Okay, so he gets rid of the fire type weakness. That's fine. He probably kills us. I don't think he dies to the crunch anymore based on how much it did the first time. He'll probably live on like one. Yeah. Well, not one, but you, you know. Okay. Alright. I hate doing stuff. <laughs> I'm not I'm not even gonna try and hide it. Um game's the game, I guess. I'm not gonna tire. Go ahead and get back to full health. Go ahead and get back to full health. <laughs> It's a legitimate strategy, I guess. Is that plus two or three? Two, three, three. Blah. I want to bring Palafin in already, but not yet. Hey, Kronos. Uh, I just killed my whole mood. <laughs> Uh Kaga kills Skeleturge. We still have our tarot. We still have our tarot. It's not that big a deal. It's just it's it's definitely a strategy. <laughs> Annoyingly. He's just sitting grab on, which is fine. Um, I think we tear Ice Beam here. There's a reason I have the moves I have, I promise, but... <clears throat> I could... No. I think we just tear Ice Beam here. He's gonna expect flying. He probably, he might have brought Thunder Punch this time around, because I did the same thing to him last season. But I just wanted to go neutral on almost everything. He's probably not gonna use Precipice Blade. This is going to be a lot, though. Yeah. Cool. Sword Zance. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know what he was expecting. I wonder what he was expecting to click Sword Zance. I mean, he's got multiple Pokemon that do like an Ice Beam, so I might just Earth Power here. He lives on one? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I should have just gone for the ice cream. Whatever, dude. That's insane. It lives on freaking one. He just handed me the sun, though. He did just hand me the sun. Could go to you, Jet Punch, and then pivot into Grim Snarl. Does he expect to switch and try to Sword Zance him? I don't even know if I needed a jet punch, honestly. Oh, I just threw my Dialga, dude. I just threw it. I should've just Ice Beam. I overthought that too much. Tried doing too much over predicting. Tried to do too much over predicting. What a prankster. This prankster man. He can't counter a prankster anymore. If I were him, I would have sludge bomb, honestly. I would have sludge bomb. Growth. Or that. <laughs> or that. So what I can do is I can T-Wave. Or light screen. Yeah, I like a light screen. It's fine. Um, the hard sunlight fades. Mm. Mm 
Mm -mm. I don't want to party set out. Once the Giga's ready one more time, that's okay. Damn! That was a crit. Okay, cool. He gets some of that back, but like, what, 10 ish? A little over 10. Probably like 15. Um. Palafin can ice switch this thing. The question is, does it have. Oh, it doesn't get thick fat, right? It's chlorophyll and overgrowth. I believe, right? <laughs> I think. Yo! Yo! I did it wrong. Yo! I did exactly the same. <laughs> no, I guess I make the same mistake for us. Palafin. Kills Mr. So Torkoal comes back out, sets up the sun. Right? No, Armor Rouge. Okay. I hate it, Shiny. <laughs> I hate it, Shiny, dude. I hate it so much. We jet punch. Don't overthink it. Psychic Terrain, I'm assuming? He tried. He's probably going to try to set up the Psychic Terrain. If I had a guess. I have a feeling that's what he's gonna try to do. Light screen wore off. Oh, that's duh. That's why what's his face was taking so much damage. Or wasn't taking so much damage. Did that kill? Yes! Yo, wait! Glyscore kills Torkoal. I think we win. A jet punch. Ooh, does jet punch kill Cinderace? The question is, what does it do to us though? That's kind of the bigger question here. I feel like a jet punch kills, right? Right? Woo! Man. Man, oh man. I didn't even feel good about that win. Because I think we beat through in the middle there. I don't feel particularly amazing about that one. I feel like we definitely threw Dialga. I just tried, I overthought it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a mistake. Maybe it's not. Ultimately, we won the match, so. <laughs> but. Torkoal dying. Yeah, us getting up our rocks. Because I even thought about with the Glide Squad, I thought about getting up the Tailwind instead of the, the rocks. But it's a good thing we ended up getting up the rocks and doing enough damage on Torkoal that it died. Palafin, though. Coming up clutch. Two, three, four. Four kills. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, four, because Glyscore gets the Stealth Rocks kill. Four kills. Hey, we might get MVP again. <laughs> we got MVP last. <gasps> I gotta make the MVP card. Oh my god, I still haven't made it from last week. <laughs> I need to make it. I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, GG's Max. Uh, that was an interesting match, to say the least. We'll see We'll see if we end up matching up again uh, in the playoffs. It'll be a fun one again uh, to see how, that, how that'll go. Um, I think that crit uh, Sucker Punch also really helped, by the way. Now that I think about it, that probably was was a big deal. But GG's, I wasn't actually upset, guys. I, I was okay. It's just I I hate heal strats with a burning passion. <laughs> so when I see them, I'm like, uh, they're strats. It is what it is, you know. I wasn't really upset. It was just more of like an annoyance than anything. But GG's Max again. Check out uh, his channel in the description. Go subscribe to him. Check out all the other coaches in the description as well. Go subscribe to them. Um, next week we have Carlos, aka Mr. Toast. Uh, who we got to take on. That's going to be an interesting one. Um, so, yeah, we'll take him on next week. And, uh, yeah, check out all the socials in the description. Follow subscribers to this series. Oh, greatly appreciated. And, of course, be sure to share socials with your friends. I love the people not only here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.